uh, it was, I don't even remember, several years ago in New Mexico, Placita, uh, we were performing uh, host, the arrangement of uh, host planets. And then, uh, you know, as we finished the Mars, uh, the, the, you know, the movement about the bringer of the war, uh, we hit the really loud last chord of the piece and then there's a thunder. <laughs> uh, it was like a whole nature kind of like enhanced our performance and it was so dramatic. And That's that was so cool. definitely um, great timing and everything. And it, I, it, I just, it was so memorable. That's awesome. What a great moment. Yeah, I, I wish it happens every time. <laughs> Let me just add to what Keisuke said. I think in the same concert after we or during we played Venus, there were some birds chirping after the storm or something <laughs> crazy, really like it was just going with the nature. That's so cool. I was born in Switzerland and then my uh, my parents already had worked in Indonesia before I was born for a decade or so. So then they went back to Indonesia when I was two. And then, so I started playing piano in Indonesia. They, they bought a piano and uh, I just started playing with the piano. And then my mom showed me some, uh, some notes and a, a note, one note per finger. And that was actually a birthday present of hers for me, a little booklet where uh, every page I learned a new note that went with an, another finger and then I could open a present. So after 10 days, of course, it was finished. So <laughs> no more presents <laughs> until today. <laughs> so I think it was uh, um, my kindergarten that, you know, they had the nap time for the for the kids after the lunch or something for about an hour maybe I just I, I don't remember that much detail but um, and when we were supposed to take a nap there's a, a teaching assistant play like a little tune or a little chords on the piano and then I always couldn't go sleep because I was so excited about hearing the the sound and the instrument. And I think that's how I got into, you know, how, how got, I got interested in piano. Uh, you know, I started taking piano lessons much later than that, but that's when you actually start growing my interests. Right. It was actually my, um, I, I injured my hand and uh, she, uh, Eva was one of the pianists who took over the gigs that I was supposed to do. And, um, and I turned page for the concert. Um, and uh, that's, I think that's when we first talked, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, as a pianist, like there's always pieces that I wish I had, Two more hands or something like you know it's really like so many notes or so, so many big chords and uh, so the, I, I definitely had always a uh, fantasy of like having more hands and definitely that kind of brought into this um the duo of course Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Etude from the Old Country by Terry Riley. Uh, we both love this book very much. It was part of a CD that we uh, recorded a few years ago with all Terry Riley music. And uh, he actually rearranged the beginning for us. It was a little bit different before we played it. And I think this piece is, is just kind of travel music for me. I always imagine I'm sitting in a train and just look at the landscape 
go by, like, for example, in, I keep thinking about Spain for some reason. And there's also a poem that goes with this piece that Terry Riley wrote himself. And in the concert, we, we put the poem uh, line by line on top of the music. So you, you get some inspiration also by his poem. How, how I met Eva, um, you know, I, I injured my right hand and I couldn't play for about, I don't know, five months or so. And all, uh, during that time, um, uh, the, uh, what is it? What got me through, you know, the whole, couldn't play with my right hand or in psychological, uh, challenges and all that like I, I was so obsessed with the um the pieces which only written for left hand and left hand uh piano music is a it's a the like serious genre like it's it have so many pieces that it can be just um its own genre itself and and then I got to dis, uh, explore uh, what's out there. I mean, there's so many pieces and I found so many great music during that period and just playing it is kind of, uh, you know, keep reminding me like why I love playing piano. And, and of course the left hand uh, piano piece is uh, simpler than, you know, the ones with the both hands. And so got kind of got into like the simplicity of the music and it really hit me the, in the core. <laughs> 